ladies and gentlemen, this is a special submission match. Hailing from Victoria, Texas, weighing 252 pounds, Stone Cold Steve Austin. Nothing fancy about this man. You talk about it in your face. That's who Stone Cold Steve Austin is. Well, you're right about that. Steve Austin is six foot two, 252 pounds. And he said there's not a human being walking the face of the earth that can make him say, I quit. You know what? I think I believe him. His opponent, from Calgary, Alberta, Canada, weighing 234 pounds, Red Hitman Hart. And here he comes, Brett the Hitman Hart. You really happy to see him again, King? Well, I'm going to try to leave my personal history with Hart out of this, JR. Let me just say that, like this crowd, my feelings toward the so-called Hitman are mixed. Well, I, I hate to bring this up, King, but Bret Hart took a little uh, little turn on you when he knocked you on your keister. Yeah, and I didn't appreciate it one bit. Let me tell you, I think Bret Hart was out of line for doing that, as well as being out of line for the abusive obscenities that he hurled on live television. There's absolutely no excuse for that, no matter how much this man so-called has been screwed. Well, well, you almost called him a son of a... No, 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 I didn't. Well, look out. Here we go. Oh! I'm not so certain that this match will be called right down the middle by our guest here. Well, to be honest with you, I don't imagine that this will be business as usual. Into the sleeper hole, cutting off the flow of blood to the brain. It essentially knocks you out, but you can call it sleeping. Oh, there's another hit. I'm not sure I can watch this. Hey, so effective. Oh, once you get out of the ring, anything can happen. You've got exposed steel, concrete, the barricades, and all of it can be used to cause massive damage. A sleeper apply. Oh, that's one way to make your lunch come back up. And he slaps it on. Oh, there's another hit. A vicious shot with the knee. I'm not sure I can watch this. Somehow, he's kicked it into another gear here tonight. He's still not through. He's in big trouble. I'm not so certain that this match will be called right down the middle by our guest here. He's simply reminding him that he's there. Great offense by Steve Austin. Well, we're on the move here. And friends and neighbors, that's one heck of a punch. Well, the trick sometimes when you get outside the ring is survival. The match becomes almost secondary when you get near all these dangerous objects.
He doesn't want to do this outside the ring. Steve Austin being pressed hard. He wants this battle decided inside the ring. Those are some clubbering axe handles. Oh, he's in trouble now. Oh, you better be careful, Stone Cold. Oh, Austin oh, with got, a... Give me that spread out. I can't say I quit. This I quit match, Ken Shamrock, the referee. We are in Chicago. This is WrestleMania 13. Neither Austin or the Hitman have ever submitted in their professional careers. It's all on the line here. A lot of pride. Who's the alpha male? Nice leg sweep by the, by the Hitman. And this crowd is going wild, JR. They're, they're waiting to hear one of these superstars say they quit. You gotta think that the Hitman is second sharpshooter. Focusing on the leg of Stone Cold Steve Austin. Uh-oh, this is not gonna be good for the Rattlesnake. Oh, man. Red Hart. Oh, man, look at this. Ow! The figure four using that ring post as leverage. Shamrock trying to free Stone Cold. And Austin, the damage has been done. Austin in a bad, bad way but he still will not say he quits. Steve Austin making his statement as we speak. Now back to the ring. And the emotion just comes pouring out. He drops him like bad barbecue. Oh, gosh. Hey, what do you want for your last meal? Well, to be honest with you, I don't imagine that this will be business such a dangerous maneuver. The sleeper hole. Oh, he's the guy that's opponent, and what's he going for here? It's really hard to imagine what's going through the head of our guest here. They may be having a hard time staying out. He's applying pressure in all the right places. Oh my God, that's gonna hurt. There's the sleeper. And Steve Austin is wrecking havoc again. Oh, that'll knock the wind out of you. Oh, look at this, JR. Man, I'm telling you, Stone Cold Steve Austin. Oh, look out! No! Oh, Inverted atomic drop. And Austin, that's a low blow, technically. Again, a no disqualification match. Referee Ken Shamrock helpless to do anything about it. Now, what's the Hitman doing? Uh oh, look out. Steel chair. Red Hart bringing a steel chair in the ring. It's as legal as a wrist lock. Things are about to get ugly. Oh! Right to the leg, Austin in trouble. Oh, oh no, no, oh, no. Hart's got evil intentions. This is gonna be damn bad, JR. This is gonna be real bad. Uh oh, JR. You gotta remember that chair is technically legal in this match. What's Bret Hart gonna do? This is what Austin did to Brian Pillman. Oh no! Oh, oh the hitman trying to break Austin's leg. He may have just succeeded. Bret Hart mighty proud of himself after that move. And remember, Shamrock can't stop the match. Man, look at that. Austin is in a lot of pain, JR. Well, to be honest, this is a painful submission hold and used to great effect here.
I've seen this before. We may see a mud hole get stomped here soon. He's pulling out all the stops tonight. He's too good inside the ring to be on the floor for long. It's really hard to imagine what's going through the head of our guest here. They may be having a hard time staying out of this matchup. That was one vicious neck breaker. Well, the trick sometimes when you get outside the incredible move by Steve Austin. That was a ton of velocity, really pushing his opponent to the limit here. Remember, our guest here, such a dangerous maneuver. The sleeper hole. Steve Austin making his statement as we speak. What an amazing match here at WrestleMania 13. The Hitman, oh, Bret Hart, trying to lock oh. in the Sharpshooter King. You know how that feels. Yes, it I is do. deadly painful. Oh, my gosh. And Bret Hart has it cinched in. Stone Cold Steve Austin. I don't think he's got any choice, JR. He's going to have to say, I quit. Austin a long way from the ropes. He can't reach the ropes. Referee Ken Shamrock right down in Austin's face to hear him say, I quit. Austin in a bad, bad way, obviously. Wait a minute. Brett got off balance. Brett lost his balance there, lost his, his leverage, but he didn't re relinquish the hold. Oh, he's still got it locked in and now applying even more pressure. An amazing display of guts. Listen to Shamrock. He's saying, Austin, do you quit? Do you quit? Shamrock's done an amazing job of fishing this match. Austin has passed out. That's it. Austin is unconscious. As a result of Stone Cold Steve Austin losing consciousness, the winner of this bout, Brett Hitman Hart. The match is over. The referee has stopped it. Austin cannot continue. And there's no reason for Bret Hart to continue this onslaught. He's won the match but he's frustrated that he couldn't make Austin say, I quit. He's gonna try to put that sharpshooter on again. Shamrock, look at Shamrock! Shamrock with a takedown, waist lock takedown, and Shamrock will fight you, Brett. He will fight you right now. Bret Hart showing no sportsmanship whatsoever after winning this controversial match here at WrestleMania 13. Well, Bret Hart wins, but Stone Cold Steve Austin just too stubborn to say, I quit. And this crowd chanting, Austin, Austin, man, what a, we come in here, Hart was the fan favorite, Austin was the enemy, they leave Whoa, in different hey, roles. Stunner! Austin on one leg. You never trust a rattlesnake. Never. They don't make good corporate pets, let me tell you. Austin on one leg, refused to say I quit. 